Ethan, do you agree each of the persons is Yahweh, and Yahweh refers to all three at once? Generally, yes. But I would also admit that there are different contexts where the Father is referred to Yahweh and the Son is not referred to Yahweh in that context. But we have to take the totality of the biblical data. So, yes, the, each of them are referred to as Yahweh and collectively are Yahweh God. How is that not three X's equals one X? It sounds like you're saying there's three persons in one person. Well, first of all, I would say that uh, God is infinite and we can't wrap him around finite language. So God is unlimited. We have limited language that describes God. And even our best human grammar can't ultimately wrap, uh, can't ultimately define God. If we do that, then we've created a God made in our own image. So I'm not saying that three X's equals one X. I'm saying in the category of person, there are three or subsistence within the being of God. And then in the category of another being, there is uh, Yahweh or the Almighty, the Yahweh Elohim that we see in Genesis 1.1. Thank you. In, in his Forgotten Trinity book, James White claims, quote, this is a quote, that the word God refers to all three persons, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, at once. And he doesn't give one single verse or passage. Will you please provide one? Yeah, my opening statement provided Genesis 1.1. The Elohim who created the heaven and the earth is uh, by necess necessary conclusion, Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, by looking at all the creatorship language. Jesus created the angels. Jesus is the one uh, who made the world. He was in the world, as you admitted, that's referring to Jesus, even though that seems to contradict the REV commentary and, and the translation there that it's actually this impersonal light and jesus is identified as the creator so when we look at yahweh in isaiah 44 24 the one who created alone and by himself the one creator uh, when we look at jesus being identified as the creator there must be this connection it must right, be um, the same being thank you just on that isaiah 44 24 which we both used incredibly right i spread out the earth by myself which self is speaking here? Well, I, I, don't, I don't mind the language of the Lord God existing as three selves. I don't mind it so much, but I do, like I said, prefer to stick with simple biblical language. We don't have to stick with th uh, the creedal language. So I would simply argue in light of my arguments and the, the, the data that I presented, but the speaker is Jehovah, sim simply Jehovah, the Lord God. Yeah. When it says myself, you, you see where I'm coming from. Myself yeah. is one of the persons, it sounds like. So you don't have a say on, is it Father, Son, Holy Spirit? Which self is saying, I spread out the earth by myself? You, no. I would say it's, it's the Godhead. The Godhead. It's the cool. of God. We, uh, we had no problem referring to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as a singular okay. he. And right. they share the same mind. So 